All right, good morning, guys. Welcome to Five Minute Fit. Get our timer started and we will get our warm up going. We are jogging or marching in place. We'll start with a little bit of light cardio and we'll stretch and then we'll get to the real fun. For today's workout, we will need heavy and light weights. Here we go, tap punch. You're reaching high. You're reaching low. Do a, a high march cross. So bring your opposite elbow to your opposite knee. Upper body opening, closing, alternate the close. Front and back, twisting in the middle. Big circle to the front, arm circle to the front. To the back. Last round of cardio. Let's have some jump rope going. Stretches are coming. Locking your fingers, pressing them out. Nice wide stance with your feet. Arms go up overhead. Push your hips forward. Lean to the back. Center, bending to one side. The other. Out in front, light rock side to side. Take it low, keep that rock going. Nice, pointing one toe out, straight legs, big reach. Switch. Center, palms up, twisting to one side. And the other. Opposite arm to opposite leg, point and look to the sky. Rotate over. Fingertips center between the legs, flip them backwards, walk them as far between your legs as you can. Deep stretch in the hamstrings. Hands move onto your knees, drop your butt nice and low, or rotate one shoulder in. And the other. Slowly straightening the legs, uncurling the upper body, big shoulder rolls at the top. Switch your direction. Try some stretch, bend the elbow, pull it down. 
fully recovered. Yeah. <laughs> so it's... All right, we are ready to rock and roll. Come on down to the ground, grab your light set of weights. We're gonna use those to break up the planking. We start with planking round pretty much always. It's been a long time since we've started with anything else. My mentality is get the hard stuff out of the way. All right, we're gonna be on our elbows for a center plank. We're gonna shift for the first 30 seconds forward and backward. So your toes are just kind of moving up and then back. The second 30, we're gonna shift right and left. And it's just really the shoulders that move. Okay, here we go. Forward and backward shifting. So come up on the toes and then push back through the heels. The butt shouldn't be doing too much. It's staying even with the ground, parallel to the ground. Here we go, this side. This kind of looks like your chair dancing. <laughs> Just your shoulders are moving. Gonna be coming to a modified side plank next. Yep, you can always come to your knees. Perfect, good modification. Here we go, guys. Modified side plank. Bent bottom knee, full hand up on the side, hips off the ground. We're going to a front and back kick. Forward, backwards. We screw the glute when you get to the back. Ready to roll sides. Here we go. Fastest way is to just turn around. Oh, there's the burn. Get ready to come to your knees, grabbing the light weights next. Do a moving shoulder press. So we'll start with a regular grip shoulder press, then we'll go hammer, then we'll go reverse grip. So regular, hammer, reverse, regular, hammer, reverse. We got two rounds here. A swooping motion. Okay, I know, right? Oops, I messed one up. <laughs> Woo! Burn, baby, burn. All right, side plank. We're gonna move backwards through it now. Side plank, swooping leg, forward and backward. Guys, woo! 
get ready to go back to center plank. Our shifts are coming. Oh, it's a burn. All right, we're center plank with our forward shift. Up on the toes, back on the heels a bit. That'll get you your forward and backward movement. Almost there, guys. One more round gets us out of the planks. Side to side. Chair dancing, I call this. <laughs> We got a little stretch coming. We get to recover soon. Ding, ding, ding. Sink into child's pose. Feet together, knees apart. A little recovery action. First leg round coming. We need so a little bit down here. I don't do this, but today's set we're going to be up for half of it and then on the ground for some boot, boot bridge and fire hydrant kicks. So start standing and then we'll pop back down. We need our heavy weights for the first exercise. And then we will switch out after we go through it. Okay. Single leg deadlift. I want to show an option if your balance isn't great. Instead of holding both weights, if you know you struggle with balance, you can hold on to a wall and use just the one weight to go down the opposite leg. Okay, if you struggle with balance, or it's just for a minute, so you could do it with both feet on the ground, like this, all right, here we go. Keep your head just nice and tall, feel that stretch in the hamstring when you get below the knee. And then we get full arch in the back one around it back. Getting the work. Get ready to switch legs out. Here we go. Other leg. When this round ends, you can drop your weights. We're gonna go into a chair pose. Keep them handy though, because we're gonna repeat this. Here we go. Weights can go down. Feet are within shoulder width apart. We're gonna sink into a chair pose and hold. our 10 seconds. I was wondering where that little thing went. Woo! All right, back to single leg deadlifts or double if that's what good to you. We're repeating ourselves at one time. Then we're going to head to the ground. Balance off. Oh, 
elbow stretches. Weight down. Mm -hmm. and here we go, go down, sink into your chair pose. When this ends, we're making our way to the mat. And be on our backs. We're doing a variation of the bridge. I'm gonna work it pretty hard today. second now. There we go. Come on down to your mat. We're going to do a glute bridge on the toes. So instead of digging your heels in, you're going to dig your toes in. At the top, you're going to squeeze really tight like butterfly, then lower down. Squeeze, then lower. Squeeze, then lower. Little butterfly wings come together. Really works the inner thighs. Up on the toes, heels are off the ground. One more round. We'll be on our knees and then we're done with the first round of legs. Woo, so close. Get ready to come to your knees. Okay into a fire hydrant kick so once your knee is up to the side you're gonna kick then you'll bring it back in and then repeat fire hydrant kick back in repeat And child's pose. Let's see what we're going to do next. All right, while we're down here, we're going to do tries and chest, and then we'll take our break. We're one round away from a break. We need one heavy weight and the set of light weights. All right, I'm gonna start with dips. So, for me, I'll take me. Your lightweight candy too. We're gonna to use those in between dips so the river cycles. You're gonna feel your fingers pointing toward your feet. You lift your butt and at your elbows, you press through the elbows through the triceps. Get that big squeeze in the back of the arms. If it bothers your wrist, which is the most common complaint I hear, you can play around with your hand placement, maybe behind you, maybe to the side. Whatever ends up working for you is just fine. All right. Here we go. Get this brown done, we're gonna break. Butt up, and at the elbows, press up. There you go. So it's important to make sure that other bending, otherwise it's a hip thruster. It still works, it works your glutes, but doesn't work your triceps, which is what we're trying to work on. So bend the elbows and press up. You can always just hold. We have three, two, we're gonna do a swooping chest press. Doesn't that sound like fun? So you're gonna swoop the weights away from you and then pull them back. Swoop, pull, swoop, pull. Woo, good 
morning chest. Reverse plank hold coming. There we go. Now we hold. You can leave your knees bent if you need to. Take a little weight off biceps. Otherwise, we're straight legs, toes straight in the air. You probably want a medium to lighter weight for this. We're gonna do a cross body chest raise. So you get your arm out angle, raise out to the side. It's not a super easy exercise. So if the heavy weight's too heavy, grab something lighter. Go with my people so they can see how far away my arm is. Good job, guys. Looking great. We're about to start over. Oh, okay. There gets us to our first break. Well, kind of our only break. There we go. Dips, dips, dips. Under the elbow, press through the tricep. When that elbow straightens out, it makes the tricep do the work, the pushing. Ooh, it feels so good. Swooping chest press coming. Here we go. Oh, these are gonna feel heavy this time. So, pull. So, pull. So, pull. It's amazing what one pound does. Messed around with those at home yesterday. Made that little that I use fives at home. <laughs> Sixes. What a difference that one pound just made. <laughs> they were fine with the fives, but it's funny what one pound will do to you. <laughs> Toes straight in the air. If you can, guys, we're almost there. Single side palm. Sorry, cross body raise, chest raise. Woo! All right, let's get this done. Get to our break. We need a break. Other arm. So close to a break. To recording we're gonna do legs we're gonna change it up a little bit so let's start with chair pose have your heavy weights handy we'll grab them for we're gonna do both feet on the ground deadlifts all right 
let's rock and roll. So we'll start with chair pose. Sink into it. Make those quads do some work. Ready to grab your weight. Both feet firmly planted on the ground. We're going into a regular deadlift here. Stiff leg deadlift. Just get below the knees. Arch your back. Head and chest up nice and tall. Try to pull. Vicky, pull your shoulders back. You can arch in your back. That's better. Yep. You don't want to round it back. You want a nice arch in it. Make the hamstrings feel the work. Back into our chair pose. Here we go. We're go back to death lifts this time. We're in a little minute. Deadlifts. Stiff leg. Paint the front of the legs with the dumbbells. Keep them really close. Arch the back. Vicky, just watch me for one second. Right now you're going like this. Pull your shoulders back and stick your butt out so that your back is arched instead of rounded. Okay. There you go. Perfect. One more round. We have one more chair pose. Yikes. Now we're going to hit the ground. Wait, you can go down. Here we go. Chair pose, sink and hold. We're heading the, to the ground for our toe glute bridge with adduction. Three, two, one. Let's bring it on down, guys. Here we go. Back is on the ground. Toes are dug in. Squeeze the top. Lower down. Bring it up and squeeze. Little butterfly wings at the top. On the way down, they open. Leaving the heels off the ground. Makes the glutes work a little bit harder. If it's too much for you, you can put your heels firmly on the ground. It'll still work. Last round here. We have our kneeling fire hydrant to kick. Then I think we'll do our abs. And we gotta stand up for back and buys. Sorry for the up and down. Ready to come to your knees. Here we go. We're on our knees. We got a fire hydrant. Kick. Lower. Fire hydrant. Kick. Lower. Other leg, last round here, guys. Last leg round. Hey, 
me. Oh. The hip flexor should be feeling that. Glute should be feeling that. All the right spots. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna do our abs and then we'll stand up and finish with back and buys. Okay, ab work today. A couple of simple moves, nothing crazy. They will add up, but they're doable. Doable moves. We're gonna start with the single side bicycle crunch. Gonna leave one knee bent, the other leg out straight. Support your head and neck with your hands behind them. And then you're gonna bring the elbow to the opposite knee and extend that leg out and pull it back in. Same, same, yep. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna start the timer before we get too many reps in here. Start the timer. So the non-working leg can be bent, gives the back just a little bit more support. And then the working leg comes in and out. We might feel the hip flexors a little bit on this too. That's good, they're working. Switching legs. up until, until your uh, calves chin area is parallel to the ground and then we're going to hold should look like a little boat spot between your knees and your chest is where somebody would sit <laughs> a very small somebody but all right back down to the ground support your head and neck we're going to go to a side to side shimmy Ooh, that feels good. A little massage across the mat on the back. Should feel nice. Okay, we're starting over. Single leg bicycle crunch. The other knee can be bent, foot flat on the ground. Just gives the back a little bit of support. Other side. that are bugging you just do a regular crunch just do the leg part leave your head on the ground you have to modify to what you're doing you might be pulling too hard too just try to like gentle fingertips all right we got heel shimmy side to side we're working on bringing the body along with a little massage across the mat. We have two more rounds of 30 seconds left. I'm gonna leave it up to you to decide if you wanna do single side bicycle crunch, that's what we started with, or if you wanna alternate after the whole minute. 
Whatever you got in you. There we go. If you're alternating, both knees are up. Both feet are off the ground. You could leave your head on the ground, Vicky, here, and just march in the knees. That would still work, especially those hip flexors. Woo! That was one round, last round. Good morning, stretch. Arms overhead, reach to your fingers, point through your toes. Invisible strings pulling you from both fingers and toes. We have one round to go. No body parts left on work. We've got bodies and backs left. We're gonna be standing for this, so when you're ready, make your way up. Weights. Nope, I lied. Let's start with our heavy weights. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't do that on purpose. It's my break. All right, we're gonna do a curl that goes out from our body. You're gonna start with the weights on your thighs, and then you're gonna turn them away from the body. Show the folks at home. So they're in front of you and then they go out. Your elbows are kind of dug into your stomach as a support lever. Nice, looks good. Now we're going to alternate turning in. So now we have the opposite movement. We're going to turn in toward our chest instead of away from it. So we're alternating. It's not so bad, right? What's that? Okay, you go to your light weights and do a little wing squeezing here. So you're pretty much just flying in the smallest little motion. You're a bird. And you just have little wings flapping. Squeeze the back. They go over to heavy next. Good. Bent over, neutral row. So we're bending at our waist and pulling up to the side of the body. This is our back and by section. We got one more wing squeeze coming and then we'll start it over. Big squeeze of the back muscles. Let them do the work. Wing squeeze, lightweight. You could do no weight here too. Like the arms still weigh something. So if at home, especially you don't have weight options, you might not have any weights left in you. That's okay. Just do your arms. This is the set. We're going to repeat with curls. There we go. Turn out curls. I like started, I thought I heard a lullaby. I'm like, that sounds nice. We are almost there, guys. 
What a big push today. Great job. Turn in curl, alternate. strong. Ready for light wing squeezing. Here we go. We're so close to the end. It's the back part that really gets that squeeze. That's why we're not going forward too much. Make the back hold that squeeze. All the changing in the weights, although it gives us two seconds to recover, so we'll take it right. Bent over, heavy row, neutral grip, palms facing toward each other, pull up, squeeze, go down. Squeeze with that. Last round. There you go. Wing squeeze. Gets us done. Little stretches coming. job today guys come on down to your mat we're gonna sit in child pose walk through some basic stretches here and we'll turn the room over to Justin. little rock side to side Woo. coming up to high cobra your neck fall to the back. Looking left and right, chin over the shoulder. Tucking back this time, we're going to thread the needle, one arm underneath the body, head into the mat. Push your hand in for a little extra stretch. Switch. Press, exhale, cat, inhale, cow. Make your body look like a cat and then inhale, looks like a cow. Exhale, cat. You're like, what are these weird words? <laughs> inhale, cow. One more time, exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Woo, seated butterfly. Bottoms of the feet come together. The further you lean over, the more you'll feel the stretch. Legs out in front of you, reaching for the toes or taking your elbows toward the ground. Hamstring stretch. We did a lot today for hamstring. Seated hip twist. One foot goes over the opposite leg. Opposite arm goes to the outside of that thigh. Push into it. So 
switching. One more time, rolling to the knees so we can pop into down dog and then we're making our way up for the final stretch here. Push through down dog, push through the heels, push through the palms. Slow crawl back to fold it, and then we're going to slowly uncurl here. Woo. Big inhale when you get to the top. Exhale, pull. There's some muscles we worked. Tip. Two more. And one. Thank you so much for coming. Have a wonderful week. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Sam. You made it, Vicki. Okay. Yeah.